and a pleasant, wonderful, rainy afternoon to you all from East Alton, Illinois. Hi guys, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. Some magic is happening behind this garage door right here. I'm about to show you right now. Yeah, thanks for joining me guys. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet link below in the video description how I'm uploading all these videos. Inside the shop here, Wayne is hard at getting solar installed on Frida. I'll quickly give you a, a peek down here where uh, operations are going really well, low light in there, but getting all of the uh, components all installed, all five lithium Battleborn batteries there. And uh, once again, still giving me lots of outdoor storage cargo space. We'll uh, take the steps upstairs here. And as we do, there's RV Prepper Wayne up there on the roof. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. These two uh, front panels are already mounted to the roof, uh, sealed with uh, Dicor self-leveling sealant. Got it. He's working on the back too. Let me get a better vantage. So Wayne had done some measurements prior to try to see. We thought, uh, well, we, 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 we knew that we could only get three up here without going over the edge a little bit. Believe it or not, this edge right here, it is going over the roof a little bit, but you can barely tell. The reason being is uh, the uh, shower port over there. Let me go over here. Yeah, so took the doors off here so you can you can just walk right onto the, the roof here. And uh, again, there there's the edge. It doesn't go past the awning. What, what would you say, like maybe a half inch, Wayne? Yeah. Yeah. That's not, that's not bad at all. Like I said, the awning's there anyway, so it's not gonna catch a tree limb or branch or, or anything. And uh, we've got all 1,280 watts of solar here on my 24 foot RV. You know, had to work with the uh, gray tank vent there and the shower dome and stuff. Can still walk out here along the back edge in front of the air conditioner and sit either there or sit here if I wanna watch a NASCAR race. But uh, Wayne's kicking butt up here and uh, making sure that everything is sealed properly, putting Dicor under the brackets and using the right kind of screws. We even grabbed some metal along the edges here of the roof on both sides. So these panels are not going to go anywhere. It's been many, many years since the infamous Nomadic Fanatics solar panel flew off on me on the road uh, near Roswell, New Mexico. Uh, I'll link that video up top here and actually put it in the video description as well. Um, that's why I don't do these jobs anymore. Plus the last solar job I did, it was a separate system with a couple outlets inside. RV Prepper Wayne builds these system and ties them into the electronics of this so that, that all those down there will be true 30 amp pass through. So whether I'm plugged into power, or anyways, my point is Wayne does it right. He does it the right way. And uh, I'm so glad I hired him to do this for the second time. <laughs> He's doing great work. In the meantime, on the inside, I, I have some updates to show you some stuff that I've been doing to get Frida ready. Um, so I'll show you that. <laughs> Tara, you gonna take that? You gonna take that, Tara? <laughs> I, I didn't put these up here for cat toys. That, that's not what these bins are for. These bins... <laughs> uh, put these up here. Uh, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be storing some stuff up here that's for future projects. I also don't want to cut off the whole area to the kitties because they clearly love this space. So I want them to be able to play, but I'm going to be putting the lids on those and uh, doing some future projects. Got the kitties eating dinner in here. You know, so with uh, all the work Wayne's doing, exterior-wise, it let me work on the RV a lot. And uh, I want to show you some of the uh, updates and stuff uh, that I've been working on here. So, got my spice rack filled here. Um, I got my Keurig machine. Look at this, guys. It's hot glued. So, hot glue, once again, is removable. But it's not going anywhere. The one that I have in Miranda is still there with hot glue. Got some double sticky tape for my uh, Apple Watch. Yep. Yeah. And uh, let's, oh yeah, I got a couple of these mounted, uh, my fans. 
So um, these are going to plug into a regular outlet here, but once Wayne's done, all my outlets will work off my inverter and batteries just to give me a little bit of air in the winter on my face for comfort. Let's see. All right. So let's let's start over here. The uh, got the interior camera mounted. Um, and I don't know exactly what I'm going to do up here. The kitties do like to go up here, so they'll do their little hoppy hop thing. And there's still some room. They play up on top of these. But right now, these four compartments are full of stuff that I actually still need to organize. Still need to. So that's a future project down the road. Got my Taylor guitar over there. Got my vacuum up here. My bug assault gun. My motorcycle shoes. My drone. Hey Tara, you done eating? And then my motorcycle gear is in this one for right now. Okay. I brought in my Apple TV device, which this thing is perfect because it's portable and you can just bring it anywhere. It saves all my Hulu, YouTube, Netflix, Disney Plus, all my stuff's on it. Just plug it into HDMI. And uh, I don't know if I showed you this yet. So my security cam system right up here. Right now I got it on a uh, four. I could make it four, nine, five even. Um, this is just the four that I picked because it gives me all four sides and it's a big enough screen. If you go to nine, they're like much smaller screens. So I'm happy with those four views out right now, but I could always change that. And then of course I got my 24 inch TV for all my other stuff uh, on here. Yep. So, and I, <laughs> I finally filled this space. So uh, my Merlin and Archimedes the Owl there uh, from my favorite Disney movie of all time, Sword in the Stone. Uh, this is uh, 9 of, what number? 9 of 95, the one I got in Disney. Finally, uh, put on with double-sided tape all the way around. These hold really well. I've had good, good success with that double-sided tape. And I'm using it all over. In fact, uh, one more thing. This piece of wood... I put that there so that these don't, you know, slide this way when I hit the gas, but I put this on with double-sided tape as well. So not permanent, but definitely uh, going to help keep it nice up here. Okay, so, and of course I got the litter box, the automatic robot litter box, scent free. You know, people are going to say, how can you sit there and smell that? Smell what, guys? It's, <laughs> I, I feel like I've been over this quite a few times, but um, maybe if I have some new subscribers, you can't smell anything. It automatically rotates right after they use it. It goes down into this sealed basin down here, and you empty that once a week. But it's just like one of those diaper things. You put the diaper in and then turn it. You can't smell outside that compartment until you use it, until you clean it, right? So yeah, the kitties will have their little space to go around, and that's where I'm at with everything, okay? Frickin' Opie's still over here eating. What a hog! And a ham. You're such a ham. Big ol' ham sandwich. And a cute, sweet baby girl. Such a good girl. Yeah. I'm serious, guys. I, I love this shop space, and uh, we are going to finish up some stuff. And then in my next video, hopefully, we will be done and on the road. In my very next video, guys, this week, okay? Hopefully. So, um, but we need to do some stuff on Wayne's RV, so we're gonna pull that in real quick, and then I'll get back to you. So, open this door and show you what's going on. The sun has set, it's dark outside, and yeah, what do you know? More Illinois rain, more and more, and nonstop, and, uh, Boy, this would not be fun to do anything outside. Poor Miranda. So, so here real quick, we got uh, Wayne's 26 foot. Is it a Tioga or a Jamboree? Jamboree. Jamboree. His 26 footer, I've got a 24 footer. We've got mm, maybe four inches to spare there. And uh, if we go to the front, just for comparison, uh, you, you can see we, uh, we cannot close the garage door. I mean, it's, it's close. But that's the difference between a 26 foot and my 24 foot. Uh, so <laughs> Frida fits with the door shut, but you know, it's okay. Just wanted to escape the rain, get a couple things done on Wayne's RV here real quick. And one more thing here. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me about the mirrors on my RV. Um, see how this one's like right there by the, the window. But if we go over to the driver's side here, this one looks like it's opposite and, and lower. Just wanted to show it's the same exact way uh, on, on Wayne's. It's done that, they, they actually did this for a, a reason. That's so that as you're driving, you're not, your view's not obstructed right here. You don't, you're not blocking your blind spot. They, they could put it lower 
so they did. But over here, they couldn't put it lower because if this were lower, you wouldn't be able to see over this. So this one had to be there. Uh, that's why they look a little different here. I'll stand back a little bit more right there. You can see this one's up higher. This one's a little lower. It's kind of just a, it's a, I was going to say a, a Tioga thing, but it's more of just a, a class C thing from Fords in that era. So a, a lot of them are like that, not just mine. Hey everybody, it is just after 2 a.m. Wayne has been working so hard. Well, as you can see, I'm loading stuff into the compartment where he was last working, which means, which means guys, we're ready to hit the road. Everything is sealed up on the roof. 1,280 watts of solar up there. Um, gosh, my heart's beating a million miles an hour, finally. <laughs> okay, guys, real quick, Opie and Tara and I, we will see you in the next video. Excited about the future. Bye, guys.